I have the privilege to be here with John Dawson, who is president and founder of Arkham. John, this is a real pleasure. We had a discussion back in Bristol, but I think you've got some hot things to say about the, the format war. Oh, well, morning, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the format war. <laughs> um, well, it's not going to go away, guys. Um, a lot of what I do at Arkham these days is to look at the future and try to predict you know, what, how we have to respond to it, what products we have to build that would suit our customer base. And I can tell you right now, with the new DVD HD formats, they're both going to stick around. They're both going to stick around. That's my considered opinion, <laughs> and I'm quite prepared to bet for the next three years at least a decent dinner with you that they're both going <laughs> to stick around. Okay, okay are, we, are, we in, are we in a scenario something like... Um, a lot of people think like Bill Gates is going to win, or, or, or well, the streaming streaming video is going to win out, or video on demand is going to win out. What, what do you? What's your? What's your opinion on that? Um, a lot of people are betting on on, on, on downloading, for I, example. I don't actually subscribe to that view. I think downloading has a place, and it's a growing place in people's lives. Um, but HD video files, in particular, are pretty big. Yep. Um, so you've got to store them, find the net bandwidth. Uh, hope your neighbors aren't all doing it at the same time, which slows it right <laughs> down. <laughs> um, and when you've got that thing on your PC, you can't easily transport it, you know, to the car or to the bedroom unless you have the net legally. activity there. Well, mm. legally or illegally, mm. you know, um, it's not a hard copy in the sense that you can transport it around. You can't sell it on eBay if you're fed up with it and don't <laughs> like the movie. So I think there's a whole bunch of reasons that people will stick for the most part, with silver discs. I think that's the best format we've got at this point um, in terms of longevity, portability, resellability. Maybe we can do an analogy. we got a little more perspective on the Internet, like, like books. Uh, I'm, sure. I'm a, Amazon sells books uh, on the Internet, and yet bookstores still... Some people said back in, uh, in 2000, bookstores would disappear, but in fact... No, the I'm Internet like, has done a big chunk of the market, maybe 7, 8, 10% of the yeah, market, yeah. but... Yeah. Big stores are but, still there. And, yeah, and, are... and because you want to browse. So the other issue there is if you're in a store, and it could be a supermarket, which is, very, mm -hmm. is a very popular way of selling things these days, mm -hmm. you can at least browse the titles. You can make an impulse buy. It has to be a different thing when you're online. So in my opinion, everything will coexist. The markets, regrettably or not, continue to fragment in that way. We have to support the legacy stuff and the new stuff. More sockets on the back, guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, that's the way it is. But for the format wars, uh, as far as HD, DVD, and Blu-ray go, uh, the studios are now equally split. The Paramount's change. Um, slowly, you'll see more manufacturers on the HD, DVD side. Um, the BD side, today, all the products are profile one. They're not really talking about the stuff that's coming next year, which won't render your existing ones obsolete, but certain features that are on the new discs that are coming won't be supported. Uh, it's a really confusing issue. And you want to go into that a little further and give her a little more details, or is that a... Yeah, sure. Or do you want to do that in a sequel? <laughs> well, we can do... We, we sure can revisit this next year and, and see if I, how right I was or wasn't, you know. Uh, but I think they're going to stick around. And I think for many, many people and many companies that aren't politically totally aligned to one form or the other, the universal product that supports both is going to happen. Dual hybrid product. Yeah, yeah. a hybrid, or yeah. you know, one that supports both of those formats. Yes, it will be more expensive, but it doesn't have to be prohibitively so. Um, and the idea that you can put the disc in whatever it is and it'll play is extremely appealing. Some of the, the internet people like us are creating different kinds of business models. And some people say, well, you, maybe the stores where you go rent your disc today will change. They'll get smaller. They'll have access to huge hard disk, and you'll be able to burn the, the film in the store. And that's another, another kind of business model that may, may develop. You know, I think that's a great idea. Um, and we're seeing Amazon supposedly doing some of this. Are we not at the end of this year with HD DVD, mm. allegedly? <laughs> um, we'll see if it happens. Um, so that they could have a 1,000 art movies in high definition, ready for you, mm -hmm. and burn you a disc that looks as good as a mass reproduced one and behaves as well as a mass reproduced one, but is done as a kind of microscopic uh, one at a time thing. I think it's a great idea of distributing 
that kind of stuff. And I think it would be a great idea for high-definition music and things like that, which has a terrible problem getting distributed. So I'm all for that. Okay. John, this has been a, a real pleasure for us. We'll probably see you in, in Bristol again oh, this year. So. Yes, and yeah. we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a sequel then, then. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that, Bob. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.